Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight, I'm gonna crack open one of these. Right on, 10 Hop Hazy IPA by Golden Road Brewing Company. So I got this as part of a variety pack from Sam's Club. It was the uh, craft beer variety pack. And um, there was eight different beers in there. This was one of them. Uh, and so, I was wondering what all hops they put in it since they said that it has 10 hops and I didn't realize it at first but it's just like up around the rim here so I'll, I'll read them off real quick uh, it looks like they got Strata, Centennial, Chinook, CTZ, Idaho 7, Simcoe, Motuka, Amarillo, Cashmere, and Galaxy. Looks like it weighs in at 7.5% ABV. And let's see if it has anything else. Uh, Golden Road Brewings out of Los Angeles. And yeah, I think this is the second Golden Road beer that was in the pack. The first one was Mank Tart. So let's get a pour on it. Glad that it didn't erupt. You never know with IPA. Sometimes as they get a little age on them, they have a tendency to just be in a big hurry to get out of the can. All right, so yeah, it's fairly hazy. I cannot see through it at all. Um, I didn't get much of a head on it, although I didn't do much of a pour either. Damn it. Put lotion on right before I filmed, and it's scented, so that's all... Half of what I could smell. I don't know. It's It's got kind of a muddled smell. I could smell a little bit of that uh, piney bitterness. And something a little fruity, but um, fairly nondescript. So I guess that means there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Okay, so that's not too bad. The The bitterness is not overpowering. It, um, kind of wondering if it is, it may be just a little too cold. There we go, that helped a little bit. Yeah, so there's, um, I don't know, there's kind of a little bit of everything. There's some citrus, there's some tropical. There's a little of the pine, just like a general bitterness. Even picking up like a little Maybe even a little mango in there. But it, it's... There's so many different flavors in there. And none of them are overwhelming. That it... I don't know. It just kind of comes together as a nice blend. And it, like I said, the the bitterness is not overwhelming. Which is always nice for me. So, some of the, the IPAs, there's a lot of, you know, whatever fruit flavor comes through from the hops. And then there's also a lot of bitterness, which, which is okay, but I, I like mine just a little bit more subtle. So yeah, overall a pretty good beer. And at 7.5%, um, definitely it's going to pack a good buzz to it. But it's not overwhelming. You could have a few of them and not get too sloppy but I'm I'm sure if you had too many of them you'd be regretting it the next day but 
yeah, I mean, as far as IPAs go, it's really good. I am, as most of you know, I'm not a huge IPA fan, but I I do tend to like them. It's just not my usually my thing, but I, I could see myself drinking this again. It, it, it's got like a, like a medium light body. It's not um, terribly light though. It's uh, definitely a little bit fuller in body than, than your average light beer. But that being said, you could still enjoy it on a warm day, but it's, it's got enough body to it that you can enjoy it when it's a little bit cooler out too. Um, maybe not the, the sort of beer you'd be craving in the dead of winter, but, um, yeah, I think really any beer drinker could get down with this, except for maybe the, the hardcore bush light Iowans out there that, that, uh, drink only the lattes, but, you know, it is what it is. And that being said, I think I will let you all get along with your evening. I do appreciate you watching though. And if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.